so big this time, what do you think? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> I don't even know about it if it is. I think it's just the same thing I did before. <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> What are we going to do? How long is it since you were last in London? About a year. About a year. What's your light bulb for? What's your light bulb for? Huh? I thought it's you would ask me that. No, I, I usually carry a light bulb. Some, somebody gave it to me, you know? Oh. What? Sorry, I didn't quite catch the answer. So, somebody gave it to me, a very affectionate friend. I see. Is a... Who, am I folk? Yeah. No, 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 not me, I'm not folk. What is your real message? My real message? <laughs> Keep a good head and always carry a light bulb. <laughs> well, I plugged it in my socket and the house exploded. Right. Do you think that a lot of the young people who buy your records will they understand a single word of what you're singing? Sure. You reckon they do? Sure. <laughs> why, do you, why do you say they do? How can you be so sure? Well, they're quite complicated songs, aren't they? Yeah, but they, 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 they understand them. How do you know they understand them? Have they told you that they do? They told me. Haven't you ever heard that song? Uh, she said so. <laughs> what did you say? Do you think that uh, do you think, do you think <laughs> they understand you because they can't see you? Uh, would you say that you cared about people particularly? Well, yeah, but, but you know, I mean, we all have our own definitions of all those words. Yeah. You know, care and people no, and... You uh, well, we surely, I mean, we know what people are. Well, uh, do we? <laughs> you sound angry in your songs. I mean, are you protesting against certain things that you, you, you're, you're angry about? I'm not angry. I'm delightful, sort of. Person. I see. I, I... Thank you very much. OK. Have you ever read the Bible? What about the Bible? Have you ever read the Bible? Um, yes, no. Have you ever read the Bible? Have I ever? I have. I have. Glance through it. Because you see a lot of the things you say. I've, I've glanced through it. I, I haven't read it. Oh, put your hands up to your face. <laughs> like that? Uh, yeah, well, as I was saying to him, I said, <laughs> I can't pose. No, you don't, no but you don't, you don't have to pose, but you just, just do it. And I'll shoot. Yeah. <laughs> huh? You got some. I can't do it. Yeah. No, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we publish these things, you know. <laughs> You're shaking, you know. What's your name, please? Joan Baez. Joan? B-A-E-Z. Oh, truth. 
I mm. didn't recognize you. I'm sorry. Good. Can I have a... <laughs> <laughs> nice to man. see you. I've been looking for you all day. <laughs> Well, well, this is the part. This is the part where, where I, I don't write. Uh, I don't, you know. I, I'm not gonna. Anything that happens now, I'll just remember. You know. But but as when I'm living, you know, my own thing, doing doing what I do, there, are, you know, this yeah. this isn't well, this is never around me. I mean, I accept everything. I accept this. You know, I'll accept it. I'll, well, because it's here. It's real. It could exist. You know, just as much as. Uh, you know, just as much as uh, the buses outside exist. I mean, I can't turn myself off to, to it because it's, uh, you know, if I try to fight it, you know, I'm just going to end up going insane faster than I eventually will go insane. You know, if I do go insane, when and if time comes for me to go insane. Puffing, <laughs> puffing heavily on a cigarette, he smokes 80 a day. <laughs> He's a young Scottish bloke. That's that's. I was going to say that, but I didn't know if you'd understand. Oh, yeah. Bloke. Yeah. yeah. Bloke. Bloke. Young bloke. Anyway, he's, he's, yeah, uh, he was singing a uh, bit of folk music, and he's been around, and he plays very good guitar. He's a very good guitar player. He's better than you. Yeah. It's... All right. Right away, I hate him. <laughs> he's all right. I like him anyway. He's not a fake. Yeah. He's all right. Well, yeah. I got him up on the wall, you know. Anybody I'm Where? 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 He's right there. Yeah, is Donovan deserting his fans? He's only been around for three months. <laughs> well, that's what I call a loser. <laughs> In a short time, that's America. We're no, talking not about a short time, the 26 years. No, I was when did uh, Abraham say uh, that uh, all were equal and all that? You know, when, when was it? That was 200 years ago. Yeah, well, he said that. I'm not talking, but he said it, but he never did that much. Well, he never does that much. He started working 26 years ago. We don't have. Where are we going now? CBS or what? <laughs> He's not with us. He's not with us. We're all fit. Oh, he's not. Yeah. I've got an award for him for the most um, uh, promising artist of the year and the best-selling folk record, three-wheeling. No, no, I just, I just don't want them. Does it have a mail to you? I don't even want to see them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tell him to give it to Donovan. <laughs> This is for the African service of the BBC, Mr. Pillen, uh, where it's African listeners, and it's going out this evening. And the questions are four in number for your approval before we ask them. Uh, the first one's a very general, journalistic one. Just how did it all begin for you? What started you off? What triggered it off? Uh, how, uh, just how do you see the art of the folk song in contemporary society? Has it a very real social impact? Something that will certainly interest our listeners in Africa, Bob, is your deeply humanitarian attitude to a number of public matters. For instance, you're quoted as saying people talk about Negroes as if they were objects. Now, does this sort of compassion on your part present any problems for you in America? Okay. Oh, by the way, you took part 
in a play in Britain some time ago, written by a school friend of mine, Evan Jones. Oh, yeah. Evan and I went to school in Jamaica together. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the Castle Street, wasn't it? The, the Mad, yeah, the Madhouse of Castle Street. Yes. Uh, uh, going ahead in about, say, five seconds from now, with this interview with Mr. Bob Dylan for the African Service of BBC, Pete Myers and Colin Wilde producing in approximately five seconds. How did it all begin for you, Bob? What actually started you off? Um. From the poverty shacks, the looks from the cracks to the cracks. And the hoofbeat pound in his brain. And he taught how to walk in a pack. Shoot in the back with his fist in a clip. To hang in to lips with his head and knees a hook. so much singing as sermonizing. Colin, his tragedy, perhaps, is that the audience is preoccupied with song. Paragraph. So the bearded boys and the lank-haired girls, all eye shadow and undertaker makeup, applaud the songs and miss, perhaps, the sermons. They are there, Colin. They are with it. Sentence. But how remote they really are from sit-ins and strikes and scabs and life. Paragraph. The times, they are a-changing, sings Dylan. They are when a poet and not a pop singer fills a hall. Are you aware of the fact that tonight at the City Hall here, you had a greater audience than uh, has been seen there for many years? and the uh, more appreciation has been heard there. The, the applause was fantastic. I never heard so much applause there. I've been coming here for quite a while. Yeah, that makes me feel good, you know. Uh, 
makes me feel good. Are you religious? Ah, well, I don't know. What does that mean? You know, religious. What does it mean? Do you mean you bow down to an idol or, or, or go to church every Sunday or no, that kind of no, stuff? No, no. I'm believe in something. Do you believe in? I don't believe in anything. No, why should I believe in anything? I don't. Uh, I don't see anything to believe in. You think you you cynical? No, I'm not cynical. I just don't. You know, I can't see anything anybody's offered me to believe that I'm gonna believe. Put all my trust and faith and everything. Nothing is sacred. Right? Who's in charge? Oh, charge of what? Who is in charge of this room? What do you mean in charge of this room? It's rented to Bob Dylan. What do you mean who's in charge what? of it? Are you a Bob Dylan manager? Yes, I'm Bob Dylan manager. Yes. But I'm not in charge of his room. No, you're in charge of Bob Dylan. No, I'm not in charge we of Bob Dylan. We have had complaints about the noise above, below. Oh, that's unfortunate. We'll try to hold it down. And if what it noise? isn't organized with a pirate, I will ask you to leave. Why don't you get a constable? Would you please? I will. Please do that. There's been no noise in this room. Not a problem. And you're one of the dumbest assholes and most stupid person I've ever spoken to. Get out! Get out! If it were someplace else, I'd punch you in your goddamn nose. You stupid nut. Would you, we've rented this room, and I'm asking you to leave this room. We have valuables in here, and I don't want you in here. Look, don't you adopt that out of Would you get out of this room? Do you get out of this room also? Give about your fop manager. As soon as we get clear of the town, we'll stop. There's one in there. Shall I read it out? Yeah. American folk singer Bob Dylan sat scowling in a hotel armchair last night. In his hands was an iris. Bob, who arrived 90 minutes before his British tour was to open at Sheffield City Hall, said he wanted to rest. Asked to pose quickly for a relaxing picture, he seized a flower from a vase in the room and said, this is how I like to relax. I've been through all this in the States. The harsh, rasping, haranguing voice of self-styled self guitar strumming poet Dylan started off his show with the times they are a-changing. They certainly are. This swears my 17-year-old son is what the kids who used to scream at the Beatles now go for. And if Dylan is a trend, not just a cult, parents need not be quite so condescending. His tour opening at the 2700 seat hall was a sellout, but without one single scream and with every rapt attention to every word, it was very impressive. A Dylan, alone with his guitar and mouth organ for an hour and a half, earned himself more than 2,000 pounds and a foot stamping ovation. That's all. Where are you staying tonight? Why are you in the hotel? Where? Um, you're at the hotel. In the hotel? You stay in the hotel? Don't be personal. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Is that him? No. Oh! Oh, hell! <laughs> oh, 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 Pinch me, pinch me. Come down. Oh. Oh, oh my dreams come true. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to sing Time Down Changing? You want me to sing that, huh? Do you really like that song? Yeah, it's fantastic. What do you like about it? I, I, just, I don't like any of the um, subterranean homes of blues. So. Oh, you're, you're that kind of, OK. I understand right now. It, it's um, it's well, not you. Um, it doesn't sound like you at all. It sounds like oh. But my friends, my friends were playing with me on it, so, you know, I have to give some work to my friends, you know. I mean, you don't mind that, right? No. Huh? You don't mind them playing with me if they play the guitar and drums and all that kind of stuff, right? It just doesn't sound like you at all. It sounds like you're having a good old laugh. <laughs> well, don't you like me to have good old laugh? Yes, yes. Isn't that all right Some with you? Some people might take you seriously and think yeah. well, you're I don't, I, I don't care. You know it different, though, right? Yeah. yeah. As long as you know, you didn't have to worry about anybody else. Everybody, all the people take care of themselves. Got any brothers and sisters? Huh? Have you any brothers and sisters? God, I don't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I have lots of brothers and sisters. Lots. I've got a little sister. She's mad on you. <laughs> Is this called Mercy Side? Okay. Well, nobody's pulled anything out except that one. 
Baltimore Hotel Society gathering And the cops were called in And his weapon took from him As they rode him in custody Down to the station And booked Williams and Zinger For first degree murder And you who philosophize disgrace And criticize all fears Take the rag away from your face now ain't the time for your tears <laughs> William Zanzinger, who at just 24 years Owns a tobacco farm of 600 acres With rich, wealthy parents who provide and protect him And high office relations in the politics of Maryland Reacted to his deed with a shrug of his shoulders And swear words and sneering in his tongue it was snarling And in a matter of minutes on bail was out walking And you who philosophize disgrace And criticize all fears Take the rag away from your face Now ain't the time for your tears kitchen she was 51 years old and gave birth to 10 children who cleaned up the dishes and hauled out the garbage and never sat once at the head of the table and didn't even speak to the people at the table who just cleaned up all the food from the table and emptied the ashtrays on a whole other level got killed by a blow lay slain by a cane that sailed through the air and came down through the room Doomed and determined to destroy all the gentle And she never done nothing to Williams and Singer And you who philosophize disgrace And criticize all fears Take the rag away from your face Now ain't the time for your tears We do um, about 20, 30 of your numbers, you know. Oh, really? We give, them, we, we give them all a big grandstand, you know. You, you probably wouldn't know, you think we ruin your normal but no, we're doing it because... It, we're doing it because, it's, because it's, it's 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 great great idols of you, you know. No, it's, thank you. It's, it's the, we always try... Are you and, playing around anywhere? Yeah. When we play anywhere, we try and tell them it's the words they ought to listen to and not leave. You play, you play with the rhythm guitar and electric guitar yeah, too? Yeah, we play electric guitar. We find it's very difficult to get people to listen um, to words, though. So All they want to do is just listen to them. Do I give it to you? Uh, I don't really... I don't, it's beyond me, you know. I, I don't... I just go out there and sing them, you know. I mean, if the people were 
I was booked to play, I just got out there and sing. And I was, I was trying to, to try to get anybody to listen. Step on my legs. Step on my legs. Hey, 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 hey. Step on my legs. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, bless you, sir. Oh, let that door go. Money fingers. Hey, hey, hey. Bye. 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 See you now. See you later.
Hey, you know, it's a great song. You remember that song, In the Shadows of the Warm Red Wine? Oh, don't sing it. Oh, don't sing it. Oh, don't sing it. been full of a bunch of insane <laughs> lunatics, man, and I can remember it. Night, man. Bobby, it was almost so nice, you don't know. Wow. Yeah, it's the first time. It's been cool around here. Man. Oh, God. I'm sleepy. I mean, I'm fagging out. Let me tell you, sister, you fagged while. out a long time ago. Sure as I. You, fag you fagged out before you even thought you were fagging out. Oh, my God. There she is, fang. <laughs> fanging. You have one of those, you have one of those see-through blouses. She has one of those see-through blouses that you don't even want to. <laughs> That's playing by us. You wouldn't hurt his guitar, would you? Yeah. <laughs> I, I oh, pardon me. I didn't mean to hurt your turtle. God. I can give you the, I can write out these things here. Just paper. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just do you do have that? You have to oh, make yeah. the most of that. Really? You don't have any more? Grab you that. Mm -hmm. You're right. expecting to all get ripped out of that paper, right? paper. To write small or something. You understand your organ with his gun. Crying like a banana in the sun. Finish this. Speech and said, So happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Go 
Can you do it now? Yeah. Oh, concert. Yeah, I knew it was something. I knew it was I knew it was at the hotel. You're good. Kind of money, do you think? How far do you think we can push them? I tell you, as far as Granada goes, uh, they were talking 12, 1300 pounds. There's 1500 there. You you know, think, I know. You don't think we can do better? Huh? Possibly, yeah. yeah. But I know that, like, well, he's talking 12, 13. When we asked for 2000. Well, I had that figure in mind, strangely <laughs> enough. <laughs> you get it settled. Great. Why don't we why don't we see and I'll get an answer from right. That's you good. know, why don't you just tell him that I have to present it to Bob before we can give him a final answer, but we'll give it to him by tomorrow. Fine. Get Johnny Ham Granada. And the other one was really fusion, but they're the same as uh, Johnny Ham, please, urgently, wherever he's tracking down there. Um, Johnny Ham is in the studio. It's the secretary, and if she could have some idea what it's about, she might be able to get him to the phone. Just say Bob Dylan, he'll be there in a shot. Okay. Two grand, Johnny. Yeah, on the exclusive, and it would be very much exclusive. He wouldn't, he's not going to do anything else. Yeah. Do you want to leave that with you, John? Hello? Hello. Yes. Uh, this is Chris B. Stewart's PA. Yes, Chris. He's not, uh, he's not, you know, available at the moment. He's been tied up down in the theatre. Can I help? Well, I think he might untie himself. Would you tell him this is the call he was expecting regarding Bob Dylan? Bob Dylan? Yes. OK, well, you know, uh, when I say he's tied up, I really mean it. You know, I'm not kidding. I know, he's with, with, with rope, right? No, look, we've got another <laughs> show on in the theatre here, look. You don't know, get upset, don't get upset. I'm only kidding you. <laughs> right. Okay, I'll, I'll try and get him. Will you tell him, Chris, yeah. that I have uh, Mr. Grossman with me, uh, Bob's manager, Albert Grossman's with yeah. me now. Okay. Okay. Bye. How about that? <laughs> Thinks I'm putting him on. What do you think, Stuart? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, dear. That for the two. No, or not bad for me. I'll take it for a week's work. I don't mind. <laughs> um, Stuart, look, shall I just check this out now with Albert and, and sit down then to save you hanging on, and then give you a call back? God bless you. 1250, probably could stretch into 1500. Yeah. So uh, I figured this, you know, BBC. Uh, Maybe I, I, one I, show, but not for two. No. I, I had a feeling that Granada would come up with the best money, because they have done in the past. Uh, remember what they offered Peter Paul and Mary for two shows, BBC? Right. This number two. This seems right. to be their, their top. But I mean, I think we really. Uh, you, if you get him back, why don't you leave me uh, take a crack at him on the phone? Pleasure. Because I, because he last day he called me in the states, you know. For Stuart or Johnny? It's no, Stuart. Stuart. <laughs> All right. Listen, Stuart. I've got Mr. Grossman for you. Will you hold on a second. I believe I spoke to you in New York, didn't I? Uh, it's the number. Yeah. And. Uh, at that time, I, I indicated uh, the kind of money that we were looking for, for for Bob, and I assumed that when Tito told me that you were interested, that we were somewhere in that vicinity, and, it, and I was, you know, personally kind of, you know, surprised at the, you know, nature of the offer. And all, as much as we'd like to do show for BBC, I, I think we can't consider it at that money, because it doesn't come anywhere near the other offers that we have. Okay, well, the minimum that I would consider would be uh, the fee that you mentioned for each half hour. No, 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 I wouldn't. Twelve fifty for each half hour. Well, uh, thank you very much. Bye. He said he'll put it to them, but it's almost certain it'll be. It'll be not good. But I think he's going to come back with 2,000 of it. Then we're, two no, shows. then we're no better off. We're still, we're still better off the other one with one show. Are we, Albert? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know myself. Hmm. I don't can know. we, without uh, acting in bad taste, can we get Johnny Hamp back on the, on the phone and uh, tell him it looks like we have a better offer from... Uh, I'll tell him. No? Oh, Albert, if I may, yeah. you go along with me, because I know Johnny, and Johnny is a good guy. In other words, Johnny is not about to save their money. 
you know. I know, we only asked for two. He's certainly not going to come back with more than that. I mean, he's yeah, certainly not going to come back and say, we'd like to give you a little more than you asked for. Well, what we can do is this. If you want to hold on, Johnny will be back in the morning. Now, if he comes up with a two, and if they've turned around at the end and said, you know, forget it, we never got. If they come up with a two, I say, look, Johnny, as your friend, because Albert wants to do it with you, we're telling you, to, we're not saying no to you and doing the other one. We're going to tell you straight what happened. We were ready to do yours if you came back with two, but then the BBC got raving mad and came up with two. So you've got to top it. Albert, um, Albert Stewart, uh, I'll be with Albert in a few moments and uh, I'll put it to him and, uh, uh, you know, I'm sure he'll come up with a decision, you know, very quickly. Yeah. Well, now, uh, uh, Stuart, let me tell you. Yeah, now, let me tell you something, Stuart, between you and I. Um, very truthfully, as you know, um, all, like, two months ago, Granada came on when they heard he was coming. And you know them, they, they pay, you know, uh, what? They pay for the taxi as well, if you know what I mean. Uh, and they've been on there hammering away like mad. So uh, Albert does have a pretty tough decision in a way. Yeah, but have you seen today's chart? Dylan, number six, subterranean homesick blues. Yeah, jump from like 45 or something to six. Yeah. I'll be with Albert within 10 minutes or so. I didn't know who they were then. Well, do you, now, now you're friends. So you I talked to, to your them. friends then? Yeah. Yeah. They're one or two people who I believe I can talk to. to. You, and that's, that's why you're your friend. They're your friends because you can talk to them? Um, I think a friend is a friend you, because... You communicate with them? Uh, to a certain extent. They yeah. can understand me more than anybody else. Oh, well, yeah, that's why we see we differ. We differ. We come from two different worlds. You come from England. I come from the United States. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But I mean, we're still human beings, so there's some sort of uh, connection between us. No, I'm just a guitar player. That's all. Man, you're trying to knock me. <laughs> I believe me, I never tried to do that. I mean, what, I mean, when somebody comes into an interview, you know, what's your attitude? 
Oh, you just read those interviews that were a couple of the first few days I was here. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah those weren't right. No. You know, you know that, right? You know that that was all lies. Lies, well, I don't lies know. and rubbish. I got, I you know got, that. Uh, first, the first few lines I didn't read much more. Why I came here, I don't know. We regale with all this. Are you going to the concert? Yeah, I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch. I mean, I... This is well, what listen. I, well, this is what I came to see mostly. Okay, just listen. I came to see you, but I thought I'd like to have a word with you first. I mean, what is your whole attitude to life? And when you meet somebody, what is your attitude towards them? I don't what? like them. You don't like no. them? No! I mean, if I, I come in here, what's your attitude towards me? No, I have an attitude towards you at all. Why should I have an attitude towards you? I don't even know you. No, but I mean, and it'd be an attitude if you wanted to know me or didn't want to know me. Well, why should I want to know you? I don't know. And that's what I'm asking. Well, I don't know, eh? <laughs> Ask me another question. <laughs> Just give me a reason why I should want to know you. Um... I might be worth knowing. Why? Huh? Why? <laughs> Tell me why. What good is it going to be for me to know you? Tell me. Give me, give me one thing I'm going to gain. Well, you might learn something from my attitude to life. Well, what is your attitude to life? Huh? I can't explain that in two minutes. Well, who are you asking me to explain in <laughs> huh? two minutes? That's all you're getting is two minutes. You're asking me to explain something in two minutes, too. But you're the artist. You're supposed to be able to explain it in two minutes. I am? Yeah. Hey, wow. <laughs> what about you? Aren't you an artist? Oh, no. What are you? I don't know. What? what are you? I'm a science student. Well, let's hear it again. What are you? A uh, what, student? A science student. Now, what does that mean? Now, just what does that mean? Hmm? What does that mean? What do you do? What's your purpose in the world? Um, what's my purpose? Yeah. What's my purpose How do you help, you know, what do you do in the world? Well, I'm, a, I'm in the world for me, I guess. Well, like everybody else. Just like me. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're just alike, aren't we? I guess We don't so. come from two different worlds. No, we both come from uh, Prussia. Yeah. You were wrong. You were wrong. I was right. All the time. No, but this, I mean, this is interesting. I mean, I go, I go to um, interview to groups. If I go to interview Alan and Smoke, well, I don't think they, they, they couldn't care less about me, you know. Well, you know, why don't you, you know, well, can't you ever stop to wonder why? Um. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be some reason, doesn't there? I mean, yeah, it's happen. yeah, they, but it's nothing to do with me because they don't want to know me before I go in. Huh? Well, before but, I go in, they don't know me. They don't want me. Can you write them up in your paper? That's not, what is that? No, I don't, I, I, I don't think of myself as a necessarily well, you're journalist. Getting some science? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a well, person, you know. Well, so what? There's a million, thousand, billion, there's so many persons outside. Yeah, I agree, absolutely. Well, you can't know them all, can you? No, no. But uh, if I meet somebody and uh, I speak to them for a few minutes, I think that guy might be able to give me something. Well, then, oh! -ho! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Everyone is well, out what they can get. Well, I might be able to get, um, might be able to get something material. You might be able to get a chick. Huh? You might be able to get a chick. You might be able to copy right, it. Here. You think so? I don't want it. You got it. I don't want it. Yeah, you got I don't it. want it. I can't play the yeah, thing. We don't want it either. Oh, I can't play it. <laughs> you know, they may be able to give me something material, but I'm not necessarily interested. Well, what are they going to give you spiritually? Um, oh, I might learn something. What? Huh? What don't you know? That you okay. Want to know? You're going to get a kick out of the interview with people. Well, I won't know if I don't try to find out, will I? you try. Huh? Yeah. Don't you when, ever, are, do you ever just be quiet? Just be silent? <laughs> and yeah. just watch? And well, don't say one word? Yeah, the, the whole thing that, that gets me about, about you and about, about Alan is the fact that you're knocking for the minute I come in. Knocking? Yeah. You're not well, I don't think you know when you're like, that's all. If we, you know, if we, if we, if we want to knock you, we could put you on. Yeah, but I mean, he's, he's just said that I'm talking a lot of rubbish, you know. And, uh, well, and what I said, said that. You misquoted me already. See, that's another journalist. I know, I didn't misquote you, I interpreted you. You interpreted him to, to, your, own, to your own thing, right? Your own, uh, your, own, your own rules of uh, your own images. So I had to give some answer. Why? Hmm? <laughs> Why do you have to give some answer? Well, to satisfy you. Don't satisfy me, you don't have to give Besides, it's impossible. <laughs> Well, if you said you didn't want an answer, I wouldn't have given one. You always try to satisfy everybody? No. Oh. Do you ever you once in a while try? Right? Hmm? Do, you ever, do you ever once in a while try yeah, to satisfy somebody? One. Somebody, yeah. Yeah, Not everybody. A few people. Well, some people I can't satisfy because yeah. that's the way I'm made. Yeah. No, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't satisfy them. Well, how do you know that? Hmm? How do you know that? Um, I can, well, if you get to know somebody for a little while, you can guess just, um... Are you, th are you, are you, are you still friends with them even though you can't satisfy them? Yeah. 
Well, friends. Not, not, not deep friends. Not no, deep friends. Not deep you, friends. You, you find what's a field a on which you can communicate. What's a deep friend? What's somebody that can, you, you're almost in exactly the same plane with them. Somebody and you that can, you're just you like. You can communicate with them very well. Somebody that you're, you're just, just like you. Uh, not looks just, like you. No. 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 Talks like you? Um. Well, how do you even like same, somebody? What do you think? Thinks the same thinks way? Thinks the same way. Like what? Like they both think that uh, they want their both, both, both are happy about a green door? No, they think the same language. Think in the same language? Yeah. Uh-huh. And so you can understand each other. And you know what each other uh, are thinking. Well, let's try and understand each other, shall we? That wouldn't be a bad idea. That wouldn't be a bad idea. And how are we going to set about understanding? Well, you can ask your first question. Hmm? You can ask your first question. Uh, Go ahead. Have you got a question to ask? Come on. Uh, you haven't got any questions? Well, I didn't... I think somebody's calling for you. You want me to go? Okay, I'll go. No, you don't have to go. No, I didn't, I didn't come in here. I mean, I don't consider myself... I mean, he thinks of me as a journalist, but I don't a journalist. Hey, man, the high sheriff's lady would like to talk to you. Who is the high sheriff's lady? <laughs> oh, would I know? <laughs> Do I look like Robin Hood? <laughs> We're all the high sheriff, man. Who's the high sheriff? I don't know. I don't even know. Where's this high I think she's lady. a big cheese. Mrs. Jim she's Clark. next door. She's next door. Mrs. Jim Clark. Yeah, that's a good one. Jim, Jim Clark is the high sheriff of Nottingham. Oh, dearie me. Where do you get your boots on him? She wants to say hello to him. Where do you get your boots? Uh, shut up. Oh, the guard just told me. The high sheriff's lady. I thought you might get knocked out by the high sheriff's lady. The high sheriff's lady. What is this? Lonely. 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 But I'm the sheriff's lady, right. and so on behalf of all of them, I've come to say how very happy we are to have you here, and I hope you have a very successful night, because everybody loves you, there's a thousand outside, and these are my three boys, Lady, okay. Stephen, and Stephen. And they think you're so marvellous that they've left all their exam papers, they've got oh. terribly important exams, <laughs> and they've left everything to come and listen to you. Oh, okay. So that I hope you <laughs> better be good. Oh, you are good. I don't think you can help me good, but we're really very thrilled indeed to have you here. And uh, uh, if you come after May again, then I'd, I'd have you as my guest in the mansion house. Oh. This lady will be Lord May. Oh, after May. After May. After May. Well, after May. Well, you come back. This lady will be Lord May. Yes. And you see, yeah. I think the songs you sing are very wonderful. Thank you. And you write them yourself, too, yeah. don't you, sometimes? I will yes. Call, yeah. Have you really? Yes, because they've got feeling and they're, they're really marvellous. And uh, I really mean this. I think you're a really good example for the youth. Thank you. So that uh, if you come back again, I shall be delighted to have you both as my guests in the next house. Here it is, my friend. This, uh, oh, yes, I have something for you, too. How to do it? Yes, yes. How to do it? Oh, yeah. Would you like to do it? Oh, I love it. Is this for you? Yes, it's mine. It's a useful one. Thank you very much indeed. That's very lovely of you. Now, if you're his friend, I've just invited your friend. If he comes any time after May, to come with his manager and you and stay in my mansion house. Yeah. It's a beautiful place. Really, yeah. I mean this. I shall be Lord Mayor after May, God willing, of this lovely yeah. city. Yeah, we'll come, we'll come and I really mean it. <laughs> and and I, I want everyone to know what a wonderful city this is and what hospitality we get. And also want you to know how very thrilled we are to have you. Thank Bye. you very much. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. It's charming. It's 7.30 now. Oh, shit. I'm sitting on the level of the corner from the street and suddenly the lady comes by me. I'll be, I'll be. What time is that? George Foreman. George Foreman. He's the one that does Mrs. Brown. You better love your daughter. You're here by Herman and the Hermits. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Brown. Hello, Mrs. Brown. Hello, Mrs. Have you seen him on television? No. Dave Berry. He does all these slow actions, man. He's like this, the human sloth. You know? He does little his things coat, coat, so that you do make me glad <laughs> I'm in love with you, little thing. He's <laughs> great. He has a microphone and he drops it down his back. And make me glad just that I feel this way when you walk. Chip, Yanni. I want to hold your day. hand. <laughs> There's a good friend of mine gonna go in later on for good, you know. Yeah. Aren't you playing with them anyway? Yeah. Finish, yeah. So, it's happening, you know. <laughs> 
that glass in the yeah. street. Yeah, this is Who right. did it? This now, you better tell me, man. If somebody don't tell me who did it, you're all going to get the fuck out of here and never come back. Now, who did it? I don't care who did it, man. I just want to know who did it. I'm pissed. I was out there in the bathroom going out. Captain, hey, don't tell me you're pissed, man. Don't tell me you're pissed about anything when I hear you're pissed. Who threw the glass in the street? I didn't throw Well, who did? Tell me you were there. Who threw it? You know who? Yeah, I know who it was, but you know. All right. Hey, I don't care who did it. If you know who did it, you just better tell whoever did it to get out there and tell the cats that come up here to ask who did it. Tell them who it was. I'm not taking no fucking responsibility for cats I don't know, man. I got enough responsibility with my friends and my own people. I know. I agree. No, no, come on. I was out there. I don't care who was out there. Hey, no. I don't want no, none of your none of your shit, man. You're I'm not glass in the shit. street. I'm not giving you shit. No, What'd you do it for, man? What'd you throw a glass in the street? For, I didn't I mean, throw a glass in the street. Well, show me the person that did. If you don't have him here, no, man, I'm, I'm not going to ten. I'm not. You I'm better dry. take responsibility for All right. it. All right. All right. One, two, three, one, four, nine. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got him here? No. I wouldn't. Hey, man. I'm not kidding you. you I'm think going. I'm kidding. He's going to clean up that glass, man. I'll clean it up. I'll That's clean up your glass, man. I'll help you, man. <laughs> I wouldn't claim him. Hey, I believe he's all right, man. I believe he's all right. Look, okay, I believe him. Listen. Hey, no, come on me and listen. Now. I've heard it a thousand times, man. I know a thousand cats that look just like you, man. Talk just like you. Oh, fuck off. Well, You're a big noise, you know? Hey, I know it, man. I know I'm a big you. noise. You, I'm a bigger noise than you, man. I'm a small noise. Right. I'm a small cat. That's right. Oh, Listen, God. if I'd have what thrown a... Hey, you're, you're anything you friends. say you are, man. I'm you say nothing. you're a small... You're not, I'm I, nothing. I believe you. Nothing. I believe you, man. Boys. Listen. Boys. 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 Dylan. You know, you're a big could we have a drink over noise, here? You, you know? know? Boys. Right. Boys. I'm nothing. Right. I didn't throw any fucking glass in the street, man. You know, if yeah, I had... That's true. And I wanted yeah. to believe it. Well, who did, man? You know, and if you'd have yeah. one or two... You know, yeah, come at me for oh, fucking oh, glasses. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you know, oh, I'd have had a go at you. Oh, all right. Just tell the cat I'll go down. Just we'll get up. No, you don't have to. Just tell him we'll come down and do it. Be groovy. Right. Yeah, either be groovy or leave, man. You don't have to be groovy for me. Just be groovy for anybody who you want to be groovy for. There's a gentleman here inquiring about a glass. Okay. Right. Hey, a lot of people can stay, man. Whoever did that glass. Oh, man. No, we got somebody who's there. Oh, OK. We'll find out who did it. Uh, we won't find out who did it. Hey, I'm sorry about it. I used to wear a cowboy hat like Jack, right? I, I got a record of yours and Jack's. Uh, I had one called the Cowboys. Big the Jack. Cowboys and also uh, Ramblin boys, Ramblin', yeah. the Ramblin' Boys and the Cowboys. I, I just want to think, they didn't want to equip me if you're sober. I just didn't want to not to hurt anybody. Huh? He doesn't want the glass to hurt anybody. Yeah, he didn't. Okay. Listen, man, why don't we get together and I'll turn you on to some things. Okay. Like Are there any poets like Allen Ginsberg around, man? No, no, nothing like that. Dominic Bean. Yeah, nothing like that. You know, you know, uh, I don't want to hear nobody like Dominic yeah. Bean, man. Yeah. Dominic Bean. Dominic Bean is a friend of mine. Mm. Yeah, that's fine, fine, man. I just want to hear anybody like that, though. Hey, man, that's okay. Keep he plays like Jack, man. Yeah. You're going to like that thing, man. When the night has left you cold and feeling sad, I will show you that it cannot be so bad. Forget the one who went and made you cry. I'll sing a song for you. That's what I'm here to do. To sing for you. <laughs> yeah, that's a good song, yeah, man. Don't sing, don't. When you feel you just can't make it anymore, with your head bowed down, you're staring at the floor. Search out to me with your weary eyes, I'll sing a song for you. That's what I'm here to do, to sing for you. Now every man, he has his work, you know. And to find out mine, you ain't got far to go. Just 
just call out to me with your weary eyes I'll sing a song for you That's what I'm here to do To sing for you To sing for you You must leave now, take what you need, you think will last. But whatever you wish to keep, you better. Stands your orphan with his gun, crying like a fire in the sun. Look out, the saints are coming through, and it's all over now, baby. The vagabond who's rapping at your door Is standing in the clothes that you once wore Do you want to hear it? Do you want to hear another song? Yeah. Is that the stage door? What was that? Lionel? Please, yes. Oh, I'm the rally. I don't care what the theme This is the Savoy Hotel here. We're on our way in about ten minutes with Mr. Bob Dylan. So can you sort of expect us? We're through the stage door. Okay, there's not many kids there. Okay, right. Thanks very much. Okay, bye. Yeah, there's very few there, apparently, so... I've been in offices all day since 10 o'clock this morning, organising my other tour. With the other folks singing. Donovan, yeah, the other folks singing, yeah. How's that tour doing? Uh, not so good. He says to me, what do you think if we booked a theatre in Scarborough for a Sunday concert and put um, just Donovan all on his own? I said, well, you know, I, I can't see it for two hours. You know, he said, what do you think we should book one other act? I said, I think you should book about four other acts. <laughs> Queen Victoria built it for her. Yeah, 
you, you finished rehearsing now, yes? Finished rehearsing? The rehearsal was finished with the stage. Right, right. Are you going to see the concert tonight? Yes. Are you going to hear it? No. Okay, there you hear it and see it, and uh, it's going to happen fast, and you're not going to get it all, and you might even hear the wrong words, you know? And then afterwards, see, I, okay, I won't be able to talk to you afterwards. I got nothing to say about these things I write. I mean, I just write them. I don't going to say anything about them. I don't write them for any reason. There's no great message. I mean, if, if you know, you want to tell other people that, go ahead and tell them. But I'm not going to have to answer to it. And they're just going to think, you know, what's this Time Magazine telling us? But, that, but you couldn't care less about that either. You don't know the people that read you. Because, uh, you know, uh, I've never been in Time Magazine, and yet this hall is filled twice. You know, uh, and I've never been in Time Magazine. I don't need Time Magazine. And I don't think I'm a folk singer. You'll probably call me a folk singer, but, you know, the other people know better. Because the people that, you know, that, that buy my records listen to me don't necessarily read Time Magazine. You know the audience that subscribe to Time Magazine? The audience of, of the, the people that want to know what's happening in the world week by week. The people that work during the day and can read it. It's small, right? And it's concise. And there's pictures in it. I mean, those kind of, you know, those a certain class of people. It's a class of people that take the magazine seriously. I mean, sure, I can read it. You know, and I read it. I read it on the airplanes, but I don't take it seriously. If I want to find out anything, I'm not going to read Time magazine. I'm not going to read Newsweek. I'm not going to read any of these magazines. I mean, because they just got too much to lose by printing the truth. You know that. What kind of truths are they reading? On anything, even on a worldwide basis. They just go off the stands in a day if they print it really the truth. What is really the truth? The really the truth is just a plain picture. Okay. Of, of, you know, a plain picture of, uh, of uh, uh, let's say, uh, 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 you know, a tramp vomiting man into the sewer. You know, and and and, uh, and next door to the picture, uh, you know, Mr. Rockefeller or, you know, Mr. Uh, C.W. C. Jones, you know, on the subway going to work. Uh, you know, any kind of picture. Just, just make some sort of collage of pictures, which they don't do. They don't do. There's no ideas in Time Magazine. There's just these facts. Well, you know, which too are switched because even the article on your, what you're doing, the way it's going to come out, don't you see, it can't be a good article. Because the guy that's writing the article is sitting in a desk in New York. He's not, he is not even going out of his office. He's just going to get all these 15, uh, you know, reporters and they're going to send him a quota. You know? No, he's going to put himself on. He's going to put all his readers on, and, and you know, and another week will be, you know, have some space in the magazine. But that's all. It means nothing to anybody else. I'm not putting that down because people have got to eat and live, you know. But uh, I mean, be, be, at least be honest about it. You know, I mean, sure. Yeah, well, I, say, don't, say, I, don't I mean, I, I know more about what you do, and, and you don't even have to, have to ask me how or why or anything, uh, just by looking. You know, then you, you'll, you'll ever know about me, ever. I mean, I could tell you, I could tell you, you know, I'm not a folk singer and explain to you why, but you wouldn't really understand. All you could do, you could nod your head. You would nod your head. You could be willing to try. No, I couldn't even be willing to try because it, it, it would be, it's, you know, there's certain things which, every, every word, every word has its little letter and big letter. Your friend had, had the right word, pigeonhole. No, it's not pigeonhole. No, it's not the it's word not at all. You know, every word has its little letter and big letter, like the word no. Yeah. You know, the word no, K-N-O-W. Yeah. Okay, you know the word no, w, uh, capital K-N-O-W? Yeah. Like, each of us really knows nothing, yeah. right? But we all think we know things. Right. Right? But we really know nothing. Right. I mean, you're uh, saying you know more about what I do. No, no I'm saying, no, I'm no, saying, no, no, I'm no. saying that, uh, that I'm saying that you're going to die, and you're, you're going to go off the earth, you're going to be dead. Man, it could be, you know, 20 years, it could be tomorrow, any time, so am I. I mean, it's going to be gone, the world's going to go on without us. Right. 
All right, now, now you do your job in the face of that, and how seriously you take yourself, you, you, know, you decide for yourself. Okay? Now, I'll decide for myself. Now, you're not going to make me feel unhappy by anything you print about me or anything, you know, or anything like that. I just can't, it couldn't, you know, you couldn't offend me. And I'm sure, you know, I couldn't offend you. So, uh, uh, all I can hope for you to do is, uh, you know, all your ideas in your own head, somehow, wherever they are. Do you care about what you're saying? How could I answer that if you got the nerve to ask me? Well, then you have to I mean, you got a lot of nerve asking me a question like that. Do you ask the Beatles that? I have to ask you that because you have the nerve to question whether I can. I'm not questioning you because I don't expect any answer from you. But do you think somebody wouldn't go see somebody that didn't want entertainment? Who would want, Who wants to go get whipped? You know. And if you do want to go get whipped, aren't you really being entertained? All right, so fine. Right. Okay, so do you think anybody that comes to see me is coming for any other reason except entertainment, really? They'll tell you they're coming for different reasons. Well, who cares what they tell you? Who cares what anybody tells you? Well, they think they, they think they know why they're doing it. You well, do you know why they're doing it? I know some of the things People say all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. You have to sort of weed it out. You know, can you weed it out? Well, I'm trying to do it. No, I don't know. Yeah, well, see, you, you're not going to learn, but I can't teach you how to weed it out. Yeah, I didn't say that I couldn't weed it out. I said I don't know yet. Yeah, well, you know, I, I, don't, I have no idea. I'm, first of all, I'm not even a pop singer. You think you have a big audience? I don't know. I have no idea. Audience is in some sense a pop singer. You know, I mean, even if it's Caruso, he's uh, uh, appealing to a popular. You know, this is a. And he's a pop singer. Yes, I'm, 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 I'm just as good a singer as Caruso. Have you heard me sing? Have you ever heard me sing? I like Caruso better. Oh, well, you see, right there, now, right there, we have a little disagreement. I happen to be just as good as him, a good singer. You have to listen closely. But I hit all those notes. And I can hold my breath three times as long if I want to. I'm 
gather round people wherever you roam And admit that the waters around you have grown And accept it that soon you'll be drenched to the bone If your time to you is worth saving Then you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone For the times, they are a-changing One time a crazy dream came to me. I dreamt I was walking in World War III. I went to the doctor the very next day to see what kind of things he had to say. He said it was a terrible dream. I looked in the closet. There was Donovan. <laughs> Some of the people can be half right part of the time. All of the people can be part right some of the time. Half the people can be part right all of the time. But all of the people can't be all right all of the time. <laughs> T.S. Eliot said that. <laughs> I let you be in my dream if I can be in your dream. I said that. This is called It's All Right, Ma. I'm only bleeding. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. At the break of noon Shadows even the silver spoon The handmade blade The child's balloon Eclipses both the sun and moon To understand you know too soon There is no sense in trying As pointed threats they bluff with scorn Suicide remarks are torn From the fool's gold mouthpiece the hollow horn Plays wasted words proves to warn That he not busy being born is busy dying Temptation's page flies out the door You follow, find yourself at war Watch waterfalls of pity roar You feel the moan, but unlike before You discover that you just be one more person crying So don't fear if you hear A foreign sound in your ear It's all right, ma I'm only sighing Of war and peace The truth just twists Its curfew go just glides Upon four-legged forest clouds The cowboy angel rides with his candle cradled into the sun Though its glow is waxed in black All except when neath the trees of Eden The savage soldier sticks his head in sand And then complains Unto the shoeless hunter who's gone deaf but still remains Upon the beach where hound dogs bay at ships with tattooed sails 
Lions Out, House Lights and the Queen. OK, fair enough. Stores and bus stations People talk over situations Read books and repeat quotations Draw conclusions on the wall Some speak of the future My love, she speaks softly she knows there's no success like failure And that failure's no success at all The bridge at midnight trembles the country doctor rambles Bankers' nieces seek perfection Expecting all the gifts that wise men bring The wind howls like a hammer The night blows cold and rainy My love, she's like some raven At my window with a broken wing Go, driver, go. Go, driver. Oh, that was a good concert. Huh? That was a good concert. Beautiful. They were all there, man. All of them. God damn. The vanishing American. <laughs> yeah. Man, I feel like I've been through some kind of uh, thing, <laughs> right? You have! No, but I mean, there's something, there's something special about it. They've started calling you an anarchist. Who? <laughs> papers, that's the word now. Anarchist? Yeah. 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 Bravo. Yeah. You're kidding, what papers did oh, you say there? Oh, two or three. Today, anarchist. yeah. Just because you don't offer any solution. You're kidding. <laughs> of course. Anarchist? Yeah. yeah. Give me a cigarette. Give the anarchist a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> anarchist. Oh. The singer such as I. Well, I was a little surprised to see it myself, but there it is. Well, it probably took them a while, man, to think of that name. Anarch. No, they couldn't say communist. Yeah. Well, didn't they say that yesterday? Well, uh, the the communists aren't in this Communists, uh, you know, oh. in England, communists really aren't, aren't, you know. Oh, it's cool to be. Yeah. I don't think it's cool to be an anarchist, though. It's cool. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sure. Whatever it's not, I don't think it is. <laughs>